Thank you, ladies. Welcome back to Friday Night Fever. Cameron Cox, Lena Washington on your TV for the second straight year in a row. And I've loved this so much. We've taken part of the show on the road every Friday night. Yeah, it used to be the studio team, but now it's been awesome getting to showcase the programs all over the valley and beyond with yeah. us getting into the field. So this week, we're in Scottsdale wrapping up on the road with the Desert Mountain Wolves, and the Wolf Den was rocking for some hey. Thursday Night Fever. Desert Mountain hosting the Cactus Shadows Falcons. The home team gave the fans a lot to cheer about in this one. First quarter, that's Thomas Nurheim taking the handoff from Drew Tapley in 10. Finds his way into the end zone. Yeah, a lot of that going on. The Wolves got the ground game going early. This time it's Max Sheffrin powering his way in for the score to make it 14-0 Wolves. DM's two quarterbacks, they can both sling it. That's mm -hmm. Brady McDonough with a beautiful pass and Drew, uh, Drew Tapley's brother Dylan with an incredible focus for the touchdown catch. And then the Wolves had a ton of weapons on offense. McDonough finding Jack Freebird, his first of two TDs on the night. He was fired up. The junior shouting out the Wolves. Oh, yeah. He was hungry for it. DM wins big. 61-14 the final. The Wolves improved to 8-2 and two ahead of seeding Saturday. Let's hear from some of the guys who put on a show for us in Scottsdale. All right, we're back out here on the road with the Desert Mountain Wolves coming off a big win over Cactus Shadows, 61-14 the final. Alex Nabavi, Jack Freeberg, two of the big playmakers here tonight. What is it like on senior night to have this kind of performance in front of your home crowd? It's a great feeling. It's a great crowd out here. And to put up 60 points on our senior night, we just love that. We love that. And to have the performance you did, I mean, our cameraman had a lot of shots of you in the end zone. What inspired this performance tonight? You know, we have a great coaching staff. We have a great school. Everyone out here is showing support. The camera's everywhere. That just goes to show you what type of team we are and what type of atmosphere we have. So it's great to have fans like these. Yeah, Brad, I'm going to ask you to spin around to see the live studio audience we have here. All the parents yeah. with their fans, their phones out, the fans. I mean, you guys got plenty of season left to play for. Brackets come out on Saturday. How excited are you guys to have a chance at the gold ball this year? We're really excited. We're hungry from last year. We're ready to make a play. Man, they can go far in playoffs. Let's get it. Absolutely. And again, this school spirit, you got the base bumping out here. The fans are going all out. How is this school spirit motivating you guys out here tonight? Uh, last year, we came off a tough loss to Horizon. So we're, you know, really motivated to get back in the playoffs and, you know, revenge ourselves. Revenge ourselves, at least. So, yeah, basically that. Okay. Yeah. And I heard Coach say he wants to make Desert Mountain a tough place to f play. They want opponents to fear you guys. So what's your message to any opponents maybe coming up here in the playoffs? This is the new DM. This is how we do it. We got all the fans coming out every single game. First week of playoffs, blackout at Desert Mountain next week. We'll see you out here. Anything to add? That's, that's it. That's Simple. We're mic dropping it out here with Desert Mountain Wolves, folks. How cool is that? They're